Hello everyone. I haven't done a garden update in a while, so I thought I would do one. Things are starting to wind down a little bit on the, a lot of the uh, plants that I have growing. You know, that's just the natural cycle of things. And um, I just got my order in uh, from Baker Creek uh, for my fall garden seeds. So now I've got to start clearing an area uh, to get the things planted that I want to plant. So you can, you can see that in the uh, mail uh, call video, or uh, happy mail, I think it says on it. Uh, I showed the seed, so check it out in that video. Um, I believe it's uh, turnips, a white turnip that's uh, Japanese. I got a radish, it's a red radish. Uh, I've got some lettuce. I think it's Simpson, black seeded Simpson or something like that. I've got a uh, comet suna, which is like a, a cross between it's a it's a Japanese vegetable as well cross between like mustard and spinach and I've got a uh, spinach I'm trying to think I think that's about it I'm not going to grow a whole lot of things but um, we definitely enjoy the turnips and uh, spinach and stuff like that um, it's good to have something different you know a change from what you've been eating all summer and then it, you know, you'll have the fall vegetables after that. I'll, we miss the tomatoes though when they're gone, that's for sure. So anyway, I wanna show you what it looks like in here. Uh, I don't have much room with a car here, but these are the house plants that I keep out here in the summer. Um, they're all really doing pretty good. They usually do when they're out here. See this spider plant down here looks great. These are all from this one here. This is the mama. Plant. And then you got all these down here. And the on the movies. This succulent is just doing great. I need to move this thing around some or repot it. Look at that. Uh, that looks great. And look at the Christmas cactus. It's a, it's always looking good. So the bamboo, it's had its issues, but it's it's hanging in there. It's doing pretty good. And this uh, volunteer tomato plant down here, it's still trying to grow uh, over this way. It's died up here. But I've actually got some tomatoes off of it. Here's one right here, what they look like. They're just little, little grape tomatoes and they're really good. This one, I don't know if it's even, it's kind of small. Okay, over here we've got the uh, plants in containers. And uh, still growing some jalapenos. This pepper plant, I moved it around. It was over here. I moved it over here. And I had it down there for a while on the ground. It's getting some more. You can see the peppers right there. And here's one right here. So there's at least three on there. There's another one, four. And you got little eggplants. The only problem with... Um, you can see I've got one like laying right here because it got too heavy. Uh, in containers like this, you still need to end up putting some sticks, like here's one right here, and I put one this morning over here because these eggplants will get really heavy. Here's a nice little one right here. There's one that's on the pot there. Uh, this little uh, zucchini, it's still kind of alive but it's not done anything and this is the whorehound right here I think some of it's you know it's turning to seed Let's see I'll probably keep those seeds um, nothing's really on this one right now jalapeno there this one's on its last legs this tomato and the other one did passed away okay my little wildflowers have been doing pretty good this is an unusual plant here I actually thought this was a weed when it first came up but I'm glad I didn't pull it I really almost pulled this because look at these beautiful flowers on it or blooms very interesting I don't even know what that is it must have been in the mixture the one that was uh, uh, like a wildflower mixture that I put out here so that's very interesting. I like the way it looks. 
Then you got some that's a little like pink looking. There's one of these little black uh, bees. That's the ones that's in my bee motel. And I like these bright colored blooms here. That's a nice little variety right there. They're looking good. This one, it'll keep getting taller. I may have to prop it up. It's already leaning. This is a Cosmos, I'm pretty sure. And uh, it'll have some big flowers on it when it gets ready. This will have flowers. So they're doing pretty good. It's not rained much lately and uh, I'm not watering a whole lot. I'm just using a watering can so I can conserve a little bit because it will run your water bill up to water a whole lot. I still have some tomatoes. These are, I already pulled three plants right here. I'm, I'm just taking my time, but I, I mean I need to I need to go ahead and get them up soon so I can get the uh, turnip started in here. I'll have to get all these weeds out of here and everything. But really, um, you know what what you see is what's left. So uh, I could pick these even just green and they would turn you know so I need to get that done I'm, I need to do at least a few a day maybe do these three on the front today or something and just do a few at a time because it it's a job to pull all these out of here if you did it all at once but you can see it's still alive there's probably still some flowers even here and there but they won't produce anything much anymore um, still got peppers growing. You can see right here's a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, five or six. Oh, there's, there's mosquitoes in here. Heard one around my ear. Um, you know, I got some other others growing as well this has got blooms on it I'll probably go through these um, and see the jalapenos are still doing good this has got quite a few on it so they're hanging in there so to speak Um, I've got a few more uh, yellow peppers. There's another one right right here. I don't want to touch it too much. It'll, it could fall off. So I still got some peppers growing. There's quite a few right there I see over there. There's a bunch of these. I don't even know what they're called. I've been calling them cherry peppers. And still got banana peppers. I've been using the uh, carrots as needed, you know, like if we need a couple carrots, let's come out here and get them because some of them are still growing. Cucumbers are gone, of course. And these uh, green beans, they just don't know when to quit. <laughs> they're, they're, I've, I've picked them big harvest at least five times, maybe six, and they just keep growing more and keep growing more. The only thing I don't like about these beans is they've got a lot of strings. Even when you pick, cut, you know, cut them, when Joy prepares them and gets, she strings them, and they still have strings in it. So next year I'm going to be looking for something more like a half runner or something that has less strings. But this has been producing great. I'm, I'm trying to remember which ones these were this year. Um, I'm thinking maybe Kentucky Wonder, something like that, but it's they're still still more growing. Yep. 
something eating on these leaves. I don't see them now, whatever it is. That's these uh, little bugs. I can't see any of them right now. But I mean, I've got plenty out of this and it looks like I'm still gonna have more. Uh, you can see back in here, and they're just, they're just all over still. <laughs> I just don't know when to quit. I've never had one put out that many. I got plenty of eggplants. They get heavy. I'm having to use poles, uh, you know, stakes for them. They're, they're all over. see more in there you can just see them everywhere basically see how they'll, they'll get heavy and they'll fall over because this one's got a heavy one right there there's two more I could go in the eggplant business plenty more over here here's three more right there These have done really well this year. They really have. I need to get some more stakes out here and stake them up a little bit better. I mean, they'll be fine even if they kind of fall over like that one, but you can see why, I mean, those weigh, weigh quite a bit. Uh, the the, the uh, onions, they're really good. They're, I wish they were a little bit bigger, the onion part, but they're really good. And I've been doing them like the carrots. I've just been coming out and getting five or six or whatever we need for a salad or whatever. The okra, oh my goodness. What can I say? It's doing, it's doing really great. It just keeps growing. Um, I come out here almost about at least every other day and harvest uh, some of them are, are real red. Some of them are just have a little red. This one needs to get about that much bigger. It'll only take like another day or so. But you can see them all over. We've got plenty of okra from these. You can see. They're looking really good and they just keep popping up everywhere. This is little bloom. On it. See more. They're really good too. Oh my gosh, we made some fried okra. They're they're awesome. Mm -hmm. And not much going on at the rock. There's a few little yellow flowers left over there. And uh, these are those pitiful cucumbers. This one actually has a little cucumber on it it's kind of pitiful though they just didn't do good for one thing these okra um, really uh, shaded them you know so they didn't get the proper amount of uh, sun and those were old seeds I used anyway and I thought this was corn growing out here at first but it's not it's from the seeds that I put out here for the birds and uh, so I figure, you know, I'm just gonna let it grow. And you know, it has seeds on it. So they'll just naturally get these seeds as they dry and stuff. I can't believe it. They're probably not ready or they'd be out here, you know, picking on them or whatever, picking at them. But I'll have free seeds anyway, uh, even if I just harvest them and let them dry. That's one way to, to get them and there's some I'd put some over there for a little chipmunk and there's one growing over there if you can see it by the heat pump. Not much in the compost right now. I mean, I filled it up when we mowed grass last week and it's already shrunk way down. So it doesn't really look like much of anything. But you can tell on the bottom of it, you can tell that there's soil now. It's dark. I probably need to rotate it. But, uh, we need to mow the yard in a few days. That's a real chore. But anyway, everybody, that's uh, let me turn this around. That's what's going on in the garden right now. It's in kind of a transition phase. I need to just start cleaning up and getting ready for the next seeds to to go out. So 
I hope you all enjoyed this garden update. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later on. God bless.